Hello everybody, I'm Ricky Smith. Welcome to Faith on Friday. Last year, I increased the company's bottom line by 75% when I landed the account. I graduated at the top of my class, helped tutor underprivileged students, and made over $250,000 in a fundraising campaign. This week, I was interviewed by a major magazine, and I'll be featured on the cover. Hey, did you hear about what I did? Tooting your own horn isn't always about bragging or showing off, just like not doing it has anything to do with being humble or modest. It all comes down to motive. We don't like to toot our own horns, but in some instances, if you don't do it, it can cost you a job, a promotion, a pay raise, or some other opportunity. But if you're trying to get the admiration of others or trying to make someone else look bad, it's best not to share at all. Not talking about your accomplishments or your contributions may put you at risk of becoming invisible and possibly being overlooked. And besides, who can tell it the way that you can with that same power, fire, enthusiasm, and passion? Of course, there are good ways and bad ways to talk about what you've done. Keep it short and sweet. Keep the attention on your hard work. Give credit where credit is due. And be confident. Tell anyone who will listen or anyone who won't. Make it a long drawn out story about you. Embellish the truth or just lie or belittle people. It's okay to talk about your success you did the work. Be proud of what you've accomplished and don't just toot your own horn. Blow it. Thanks everybody for watching. And don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up. And if you're enjoying it, share it with your network. My name is Ricky Smith. And I'll see you next Friday.